Okay. So, I'm going to leave some stuff here, bro. But I don't want you, you know, like eating or trying my clothes or, or using my stuff, you know. Because you're a jackass. You have the, the, the food here. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we have? Uh, let's sort by weight. Okay, we're going to take the hunting rifle because we need that. And we're gonna take the storm lantern, and we need the hatchet, and the clothes. This thing, you know, this flashlight, I'm having, you know, second thoughts. I don't know if... Because it is a banged up flashlight. Um, so, you know, for now, we're just gonna drop it. And the pry bar. Do I need the pry bar? If we're gonna go fishing, I'm not sure I'm gonna need the pry bar. Okay, for now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take the pry bar. Let's see. And hmm, we're gonna drop this as well. Let me just okay because we have the flashlight, and we're gonna drop this as well. We got new peanut butter. What's our condition right now? We're a little peckish, you yeah? know. We're dry mouth, uh, dry mouth. But no. Improve rest, cup of herbal tea. Hmm. This is this is good. Uh, let me see over here. You know this this distress pistol. Not sure if it's really important. We got a lot of flares apparently. We got this thing. Yeah, it's not a lot of food, but what about we eat this? Okay, eat it. That's delicious. Just delicious. And an energy bar, you know, to get some some some, some juices flowing. And we're gonna drink. That's good. We're at twenty six point five kilograms. I think I think we're we're good. And if we check here, what we need to do is learn how to craft fishing tackle and catch fish from Mystery Lake. Get to the camp office, find the fishing gear you need. I already have the fishing gear I need. And we need 5 kilograms of fish. Hmm. Do, do I have the things? I think I have the things, right? We got a hook. We got a line. Uh... And I think I dropped the other thing because okay, basic hook suitable for fishing, a line suitable for fishing. Uh, begin crafting a hook and line used for catching fish. Okay, let me just quick cra craft this, and I think we are done. Okay, where's this thing? Yeah. Here we got a fishing tackle, a hook and line used for catching fish. Okay. Let's just go. The only thing I'm I'm hoping for is that psychotic bear Wilson doesn't try to kill us. Is that a thing? Oh, I think those are just like plants. And well, we are, you know, over here. And we need to get to this, the camp office. Now we get some supplies over here. Hmm. So maybe, maybe we should try to, you know, like go straight over there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. It is not, you know, best option. But it is what we're going to do, nevertheless. I'll try to go in that direction. I don't have like the sky or the sun to, in order to navigate. But I think time is of the essence, and um, you, you see this tree. It likes. It's like telling you that you can just climb it. And maybe, oh yeah, you can go down over the here. You know, it may, maybe it was a shortcut. I am not sure. Okay, we need to keep going in this direction. Yeah, this sh 
this thing is most likely what we refer to as a shortcut and not the other possibility which is a death trap we are not sure but we hope for it come on stupid branch okay at least we are shielded from the wind here I don't see any bunnies I don't hear Fluffy or Wilson I just hear like I, I, I'm carrying a lot of, uh, you know, cooking equipment or something like that. What the hell is this? Is this is like the hand of a monster? This thing over here? Oh no, it's a tree. Okay. Keep heading in this direction. I want to try to course correct a little bit to the, what I assume is, is east in this direction. You know, so we get to the to the tracks. Oh, what do we have here? We need to go over there. There's some sort of deadfall area. Okay, let me see. Where's this deadfall area? Oh, you see? We, we did we did we did good. We're over here. Okay. We just need to keep going in that direction, but quickly, let me see if there is anything of interest here. Okay, we're not gonna pass up on this. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, we're gonna keep heading in this direction. If I am correct, uh, just on the other side of this small hill, we should see the train tracks. Maybe we take this thing. Just for the hell of it. And we take this as well. There's a lot of branches in the, in the, in the floor. Okay, come on, bro. You can do this. Run like you mean it. Okay. Don't die. Don't break your leg. Okay, no, we're not. Gonna, we're gonna go this way. Easy, easy. Good. I see your whining is not as frequent as it used to be. That is a good thing. You know, we do not like whiny bastards that go like Ugh, that's smart and what the hell hey I got to the tunnel that was not what we refer to as a shortcut it was instead pure jackassery well that goes to show you that we try to improvise we try to do something new here and we just end up you know, in the same place. I heard something. I wonder if I should, you know, like, save my ammo for, uh, you know, for when Wilson shows up, or uh, if I could, like, shoot the wolves, or, or some of the, the deers that sometimes you see wandering around here. We don't know. We don't know at this point. Let's try to sprint a little. I don't like this weather. I think I think there's going to be like like a storm soon. So I'm just gonna take the mo the time and trying to try to get to that camp office as soon as possible. There was some music which is a clear indication of ghosts. Do you hear that? Ghosts. No other rational explanation for me hearing music here in the middle of the Canadian wilderness after a massive geomagnetic storm that rendered every electronic device completely useless. Oh, a stick. That's good. Okay, I think, I think we're back. Yeah, here we are. 
time is it? Um, oh no, time. Still have like half a day, you know? That's good. Okay, I came here. I am here. Let's just enter for a second. And we're gonna see what the update said here in the in the journal. Oh, is this is this like food? Oh, it's just. You see, this is food, and it's it's, it's a closed can, and, and I cannot eat that. That's bullcrap. Oh, we got another storm lantern here, and we got a book, and we got a workbench. I think I pretty much searched this whole area. See, we got some fleece mittens. Okay, let's see what it says here. Get to the camp office, yes. Place fish meat in the container at Jeremiah's cabin. Learn to craft fish and tackle. We did this catch fish uh, catch fish from Mystery Lake. I wonder if Jeremiah would be like you know if we take this fish. What? Oh, I, I seem to be hungry. Maybe the sight of the fish you know made me hungry. I I don't think so. I, I don't particularly like fish, but you never know, huh? Well, this is empty. I don't remember if I left stuff up here. I think I did. Yeah, you see, we got worn cargo pants. Uh, we got wood matches. Oh, we got some firewood. This is good, you see? This is empty. We got some cloth, trail boots. You got a lot of stuff here. Main question is, do we have food? Mm, wait a second. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Starting to think that food is going to be maybe like a concern. So, let's just eat this. It is delicious and crunchy. And we're gonna eat this. A tin of stradines. And we're just gonna drink some Stacy's grape soda. Okay, now that we are pumped full of sugar. This is empty. Oh, there's a bedroll over here. Do I have a bedroll? Like, I don't think I have a bedroll. Mm, nope, I don't. I think I left mine back at the... Somewhere. Maybe at that uh, train car where I survived after, you know, dropping through the ice. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a pack of fluffies around? I don't see fluffies. Okay. And there's Carter Hydro Dam. We need to come here and fish. You gotta be careful for thin ice. This should not be thin ice. I'm gonna walk close to the shore just in case. Just in case, you know, the ice decides to get suddenly thin. And uh, I have to say, I have never actually fished in this game or in real life. To me, fish is more like a concept, you know, than actual food. I don't, still don't like this weather, but good thing... Oh, you see, there's like a crack in the ice over there, so maybe thin ice, you see, like over there. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and see if we can if, if we can fish in this thing. You see? Okay. So here we are. Mm. How do I do this? Do I take this? Ice fishing hole. We can break the ice. We're breaking the ice. And. Um, Maybe I can, I can, I'm not cold, you know? Okay. 
hours to fish. Okay, we're gonna fish for two hours. We're fishing. We're fishing. We got a fish? 2.5 kilograms! Holy crap! Damn! I'm gonna take it! We, we need it only... Holy crap! 4.9... We're done! We're done! I wonder if I can drop any of this No! Gear. No, you, you can't, bro. You can't. Because we got the fish. We got the good stuff. You know? So... Careful. Careful. We're just gonna come this way. Stop with your whining. You're always either, you know, like, sad, or hungry, or sleepy, or you think nobody loves you, or whatever jackass you have in your mind. It's, it's, it's never ending, bro. It's never ending. But we got the fish. Let me just check something. Uh, zero out of five kilograms. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got the fish. I wonder if we have to, like, process the fish. I don't think so. No, okay, I'm gonna run over here quickly. We got a we're a good thing going here. The weather is you know partially nice. So so I'm guessing just go over here. I'm guessing we're going to attempt to go just back to the trapper's cabin right away, but just let me come here. Okay. We got anything here? No, this cooler is empty. Okay, let me see. We got this fish, 4.97 kilograms. And this fish, we're gone. We're, we're good. We're good, you know? We're good. Okay, and I'm a bit tired, but I think we can make it. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make a run for it. We are not going to wait until that psychotic bear, Wilson, or or the dumbass wolf fluffy decides to you know decide to show up and chew on my ass and also we are not going to improvise we're going to just follow the tracks up to the tunnel and then we're going to get back to the trapper's cabin and we're going to be you know like graduating from a oh crap okay okay bro you want to dance? Let's dance. I am trying to give you a white birth. You want to come for me, bro? I will be more than happy to oblige. More than happy. But I am not... I, I do not want to engage with you, bro. I do not want to do this thing. But I, I'm warning you, stupid fluffy. Okay, I'm just gonna spend some stamina trying to get away from this stupid ass wolf. Okay, bro, bro, seriously. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do this. We're being chased by one of these stupid ass wolves. Okay, I'm not going to shoot you unless absolutely necessary. Because, you know, you're just a jackass. Okay, come on. I wonder if this thing ever gets bored. Okay, stop with the... This guy is starting to huff and puff. You know, because you do not have the necessary cardio, you know, exercise, bro. First rule of any apocalypse, you know, not just the zombie apocalypse, but also from the quiet geomagnetic storm related apocalypse. First rule, cardio. Okay, Fluffy, stay over there. Stupid ass Fluffy. You like fish, you stupid ass dog? I mean wolf. Not even a dog, you're a wolf. You're a jagass. Stay over there. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Just making a run for it. 
I hear you. I know you're close. I'm gonna shoot you in the face, bro. You keep this up, you're gonna end up shot in the freaking face, bro. Stay over there. Okay. Yeah, stay over there. Jackass. Oh crap. Not gonna be able to see. We're we're gonna we're gonna keep like trying to hug this side. Oh crap. Heavy 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 fog. Okay. No, stay back. Fluffy. Don't you go with stupid wolf. Come here with your shenanigans, bro. Stay back, I said. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to do this. This is a high, you know, intensity situation. It is very volatile. Situation is fluid at this point. We do not know exactly how this is going to unfold. We we would like to solve this in a peaceful way. Stay back. In a peaceful way. Because I know you want to chew on my ass. I don't remember my constitution right now. I think it's like 70%. So yeah, shut up, man. Always with the whining with you. Okay, trapper's cabin should be just over this. They can't see anything. The stupid fog. Okay, stay back. I said stay back. Dumbass wolf. Okay, can't see anything, but I'm pretty sure the trapper's cabin is just like over here. You know, on the other side of this hill. We need to find like that area. Where is it? Is it over here? Can't see anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... What is this thing? Ugh. I'm lost. Yeah, shut up. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Trapper's cabin is just over here. Yeah, I know you're tired. You're gonna... You're gonna sleep when you're dead, you know. Maybe I should just wait for that stupid wolf and shoot him in the face. That would provide some delicious wolf steaks. Delicious. And moist. Okay, here we are. Good. Let's just go around the creepy ass graveyard. Then we're gonna have to, you know, you know like take a nap or something. Careful. Okay, I guess we survive. Okay, let's put the fish here. So, food. You get this fish. You get this fish. We're done. Updated mission. Let me just enter here. And, okay, bro. I got the thing. You see, survival school, Jeremiah's guide to survive it in the quiet apocalypse. Okay, I think we now need to talk to this guy. So, bro. So, yeah, trust. Let's see. Something on your mind. Next. So, yeah, current trust. Would we have stick? Oh, I can give a stick. If I give you a stick, I gain one point of trust. What the hell? Do you, do you like, like sticks? Okay, I'm gonna give you sticks. And I'm gonna give you another stick. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. And some cloth. Okay, we got 29 trusts. And you know what? We're gonna give another cloth. 32 trust. Okay, so, uh, trust. Something on your mind? Mystery Lake. Can you tell me more ab about this area? And please do so via telepathic link because we don't like words here. What do you want to know? 
Seems like the more I know about the area, the better chances I have of surviving. If you think a lesson on local history is going to help you out, there here. Feel your boots, as the Icelander like I like to say. What? Feel your boots? That's that's weird. Okay, story. Uh, survival lessons. Let's talk about so, um, some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Uh, survival school fishing. You know what you need to know. You know what you need to know about ice fishing now. Much more. Much more. I can tell you. Good. So what do we have? Oh, survival school hunting and survival school clothing. What do I need to know about clothing? It's damn cold out there, right? What you wear might make the difference between life and death. Yes, I know. I'm listening. Wind or wet will kill you if you let it. Wear, wear wind blocking clothes on your outside layer if you can. And use natural shelter whenever possible. Yes? Wind will drop your core temperature quickly. And before you know it, you'll have hypothermia. Or worse, you will have a wolf chewing on your ass. What about wetness? That one's obvious. You get wet from snowfall, falling through the ice, whatever. In these winters, you'll get frostbite in no time. Wear waterproof clothing if you can, especially on your feet. If your clothes get wet, dry them out by a fire. That it? Almost. Think about carrying weight. The heavier your clothing, the less food and other supplies you can carry without getting tired. And remember, you want some tough layers to protect you from falls and animals, especially these days. It all makes sense. Great. Remember, though, it's not enough to have good gear if you don't take care of it. Needle and thread are your friends. Keep your clothing in good shape and it'll take care of you. Sacrifice any shitty gear you find to keep you your better gear in action. Got it. Good. Now prove it. Take this old park of mine. There's an old lookout tower just off the railway. Usually some forestry service gear in there. Use their supplies to repair my old parka. What? I, I need to repair his old parka? I'm telling you I understand about taking care of gear. The only way to know it is to do it, Mackenzie. Now get out there. Yes. Alright. I'll be back with your damn coat. Good as new. That's his spirit. Okay. So we get a park, huh? And we need to go to the to the thing. Oh crap. This is not good. Okay, let's go. Yeah. This is not going to work. Let's just go back. Okay, so can I like sleep? Okay, you you see, I think we got a problem because I want to rest, and I have no way to rest here. So that's probably going to be an issue. And we need to get all the way over here to the lookout. Oh crap! Hmm. That fall area, frozen. Damn. Hey, bro, can you move? Jeremiah, can you move? Ugh. Crap. Okay. On the dark roads of Montana, there's a shadow in the dirt. The whisper of a mountaineer in a ragged flannel shirt He walks the stony hillsides with his mandolin in hand But you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land 